Hello everyone and welcome back to my Let's Play Kerbal Space Program. At the end of last episode we had unlocked some new technology to do more science. And I have done some more science. We have now got 1054 science. But there is one thing that I forgot to explore that we can still reach with our Apollo series of craft. And that is... Science Around the Sun. It's just outside of Kerbal. Oh, it's freaking out a little bit. It doesn't seem to know if we're going to escape or not. Pretty sure we are. Mostly sure. There we go. Okay. Now then, let's do all the science we can. Starting with the one key. So, material study, crew report, mystery goo, mystery goo, and another material study. That is quite a lot of science. 275. Then the next series, grab scan, grab scan, another grab scan, another grab scan. Can we not do temperature? Probably not. Nope, okay. And then the mag, nope. Okay, now we can do mag. I don't know why we can't use that other one. Keep data, keep data. I imagine all the other stuff we cannot do. Because it's all atmospheric. Yeah, I thought so. Okay, we got two of those. We got two of those. We've got the crew report. So, just the EVA report remains. EVA report. Another 88 science. So quite a lot. Let's take everything. And I guess we can turn back around now going to try to get back to carbon. I'm not sure the most efficient way to do this, so I'm going to do it basically the only way I know how, and that is to target carbon, point at it, and just start burning. We made it back and we have 1126.2 science, so we more than doubled the amount of science we had with just that one mission. Tons and tons of science. So first off, we're going to buy this, I believe. And then rover technology. Then we'll come up here, grab the strut technology, the fuel technology. We might as well grab this because it's only 20. And we're going to need these bigger rockets. Okay, where are the bigger rockets? Those look like... Other stuff. Not the actual rockets, but stuff to use with the rockets. We might need it. Bigger decouplers. There is a tiny fuel tank there. So 90 science, but this is 45, so we'll grab that. Yeah, this is what I want more. Another 90 science. And the skipper liquid engine's going to be a pretty big deal. So we'll grab that, and then if we can get that, that would be awesome. But we want this. Docking is important, as is... Well, this is less important, but we really need the docking. Thruster blocks... A command pod... Hmm, I'm not sure which one I'm going to get. I'm pretty sure I need this, though. Because that is extremely efficient. And the lander can will actually be useful for us. 
Still have 700 science left. Really, really a lot from that one mission. I think we will take docking now to allow us to dock and undock our one guy. This gives us advanced metalworks. Clampatron Jr. I want the Clampatron Senior actually. Heavy drilling unit could be useful for later. I think the big RCS tanks going to be something we want like right now, and I don't know what we need to unlock this is what I'm wondering about. It's probably this or this. But either way, we're not going to have enough research. Anything else we might want before we do that? We could grab this for the even better rover stuff. Hmm, decisions, decisions. Probably would have a better effect on our immediate mission than this would. I suspect. Staging, drilling, some ports, some girdle, girders, stack separators. Yeah, I don't see any of that being immediately useful. That would be. Do we have enough science for that? I don't think so. We're only going to have 10. I guess what to make do with what we have would really be useful though. Tempting. Maybe I can pick up another what eighty science laying around the near system, depending on where I crash land or whatever, but probably not. Do require quite a lot of electric charge. So our next mission is going to be our next space science mission is going to be to Minmus, but we're not going to be able to work on that just yet. If we well we can't, but actually I guess we could just put just like a dummy thing here. In launch. Okay, so this red dot here is part of the remote tech mod, which means we need to have a communication network set up to be able to control automated stuff and to be able to send any kind of science data back and forth, though we tend to just recover it all anyway, so the science data is less important, but the being able to control automated things is going to be quite important for the next few missions. We're going to be using some automated stuff to scout out the area before we send manned missions and to survey our landing sites and stuff. So what we have to do to start out with is do a commsat network around Kerbal itself so that things that are on the opposite side of the Kerbal Space Center can reach that by communicating around the curve of the Earth. And then we'll have to send more commsats around each moon so that they can do the same for the moon. If they're on like the back side, they can communicate around the curve. That's going to be a number of missions, and probably one or two episodes, maybe more than that. One thing at a time, though. Let's revert flight. We only have one type of automated thing at the moment. Well, I think where is it? Control. 
Yeah, the Jeb thing counts as an automated thing. That can't be the first thing. It doesn't have a reaction wheel. It doesn't do much though. Remote control capable, yeah. So I'm not sure if we're going to use that or not. We might use it just because it's lighter. But I'm going to design a satellite, or a couple of satellites. Or well, one satellite to be used a couple of times. Okay, we can have some RCS thruster blocks. I think these are going to be height that I need, or I can use the more traditional ones, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, these use less, so I think I'll probably take them, thrust power 0 0.75, thrust power 1, okay so it's roughly the same, but what I want is ones that are useful for Just uh, adjusting my orbit. Okay, so that's pretty much a shielded standard one. And that's a one way one. I'm not sure what the difference is between these two. They just look different. This one is shielded, 12 thruster model. Oh, this has more thrust? No, it doesn't. I don't know why you say you, it has more thrust, because it has less thrust. It is lying to me. Those are actually a little bit big. I think I'm going to use these then. We'll do four times symmetry. Something that can maneuver very easily, and let's keep the center of mass thing up so that when we're throwing on all these new parts, we don't mess up our thruster model. I will put a mechanical jab on the top here. Say, okay, we'll put it like there. No, that's not going to be good. I'll probably move it around later. Actually, I don't want that window there. Uh, if we're going to use mechanical jab, we're going to need a reaction wheel. Since it doesn't have one. We also need a short range omnidirectional one of these, which we're going to put like right through the Garcia thrusters, because that's how we roll. We're going to have a big giant long range satellite, which is not going to be deployed by default. Can stuff connect to the bottom of that? I hope it can. That might become an issue later. Now then, we have to get tons of power. Really tons. This is going to be rather heavy for a satellite. There are far lighter versions that you can make using like these or any of the other structure stuff that comes in this. You could even use this if you really wanted to. But I'm making something that I can screw up and it'll still work. Fix without me having to launch another mission. Okay, so we want the solar panels, which are, I think, under utility. Yeah. Probably go with these just because they're lighter. 
and we're going to have to line them up. Let's turn off the center of mass for now. Uh, yeah, we want these to be oops, symmetrical. If I can click on it in the two way. Because we're going to have this face the sun. Now, there is so much new stuff here that I just don't even know what it is. Parachute box. as many of these as we can along the side since apparently we're not going to be able to put any on the top though what we can do theoretically is add some to the top after we disconnect this from the main ship with an EVA we can do that now with one of the mods but how much power will that give us Let's see eight per sec maximum no, 16 per sec. And how much power are we going to be using? I think the communication stuff is here. So I want to have... Probably four of these. It's probably going to be enough. Looks like we can fit one more satellite. realize this might be a little bit tedious to watch. I'm realizing that now. Actually, that wouldn't matter because it's going to be blocked. This is where we need them. Hmm. How much power do those guys use? 0.82. Per second. Big one uses 2.8 per second. Technically, we should have enough power. We don't have any batteries. That is something we need. Where are the batteries? Utility, probably. How big of batteries do we even have? Chargeable battery. If we do it like this, then put more set or more. I don't think that's going to be a good idea. I think it'll be better to put them here. That would give us the same amount of power without making it too hard. a fair amount of power. Uh, I really feel that I should have more solar panels though. It's just how I feel. I don't really have room for the bigger battery packs either. Did this. See if we flip that over. How much does this weigh? Uh, where are you? That is very heavy for a satellite. It's more than half the weight of all of our science things that we've been launching up, so we're going to need a pretty beefy rocket to launch four of these. Then we can put mechanical jab here for control. I think that'll work though. Let's check the center of mass now hasn't appreciably moved. It's the RCS tanks that take so much. Mm, 
tempted to like decrease the amount of fuel in these, but uh, I don't want to. I have a feeling I'm going to need them. I've tried doing the satellite network thing before and I screwed it up and I had to launch another mission to fix it and that was just annoying. Could turn on some more batteries. Okay, so we need short-term transmissions. I think that's what's going to happen is we're going to have... kind of the... the normal end system stuff is not really going to need more power than we're producing, but the out system, when we're using this big one, we may have trouble with the power. <clears throat> okay. I think I'll leave that on there just in case we need some of the information from it, but I'll move it up. Alright. Technically, that should be enough. So we'll put this in the sub-assemblies. And this was our starting thing? No, this was... Crap, I have to completely redo this. Because we need to have the ability to connect our base part to something else. So I will be right back. <laughs> Thank you. 
And we're back to the launch of Comset Network One, where we destroy millions of dollars in curb bucks communication technology. Millions of dollars worth of curb bucks or something, I don't know what I'm saying. We're going to blow stuff up. Most probably. But let's see exactly how we're going to fail. Frame rate is really, really low due to all the parts and the satellites. So, cross your fingers. I'm afraid to press the space bar. Oh, it's going to be scary. It's going to be disastrous. There's going to be horrible, horrible things happening. And I see a problem with one thing. We haven't adjusted the releases correctly. So not going anywhere. Not a good thing. I wish that would stay. I told it to go away. I don't know why I would want to put them way up there. When the engines are down here. Sure, we'll put it way up there. You would think you'd be a little bit more intelligent about that. I suppose maybe there's an instance where you would want the things to launch at the... I don't know, like six, stage, six stages later. But I can't think of it. Okay, I... So let's wait for this to load, I guess. Oh, here we go. Come on. Come on. Give me control. It's taking this long to load. Okay, there we go. Now we have control. Wobbly control. Full throttle. S-A-S Go! Oh, we're getting off the launch pad. Kind of. The frame rate is really, really low. Like four frames a second. It's very, very high. That means we're pretty strict line.
That's the list stuff we have to simulate. So maybe they're a little bit happier. Now we really need to start a gravity turn now. Oh, look at the wobble. Oh, look at the wobble. More gradual gravity turn than normal. It's turning on its own, really. A little bit more. At least these have some thrust vectoring to help out. Hopefully they don't crash into each other when they eject. Thrust to weight ratio is actually okay. We aren't gaining speed very fast. And we're about to go way down. If we aren't in orbit by the time we get to the last stage, we are going to be in so much trouble. So I'm keeping it angled fairly high. Probably higher than it should be, given the altitude we are. But it's really hard to control this. Surprisingly well. I was expecting this to have blown up by now. But here comes the next challenge. Oh, don't crash, don't crash, don't. Crash! Oh, they made it! Might should have put some things on those to make them eject easier. We're going to roll a little bit so that the next time we have to eject they can fall like further down or something. Okay, I think I've just completely messed everything up. As is typical. Okay, it's going to be a while. We have like two minutes. So let's not worry about that too much. And apparently we are getting into orbit. Again, go over a little bit more, maybe. Weren't so wobbly. Frame rate is still really, really bad. Not even make it. That would be rather shocking. I just don't have much control though with the low frame rate. Not really quite sure what I could. I'm not really sure what I could do about it. Come on, stop rolling. Trying to get you to go the other way. There you go. Because we really need to start pulling up again. about where we need to be. About. This is actually going fantastic. Except for the frame rate problems, which is to be expected of satellites. 
but as we're getting out of the atmosphere, that should be better. Won't have to calculate all that fancy dragon stuff. Actually, angle up a little bit more. Probably even more. I think we turned a little bit too far there. We overcorrected. Probably going to overcorrect here again. staging is set up properly for what I want it to be. So if the last stage is going to have enough fuel for everything we need. There we go. Now we're climbing. I think we'll go for a 100k orbit to start and then adjust. I guess I could just keep going up and up and up. So we've got to go quite far. That would help to get a more circular orbit. Before we do that, I think. I'm not actually sure. We can cut the engines and then coast a little bit. We'll probably just burn up the rest of the fuel we have in those two engines and then cut the engines. We have communications, so we can just add a maneuver here to circularize our orbit. We might even can use MechChip to circularize our orbit. I don't know if we have that thing. It doesn't look like it. We haven't unlocked that technology yet. going to make things a little bit difficult. Oops. Crap, gotta start all over now because I clicked on the wrong node. Let's do it this way. So 
that'll put us at 129, 135, 130, and how much of a burn is that? 10 seconds, that we can do. Okay, let me get to the proper altitude, which is like way high. Okay, those are in the wrong place. We need to move this and move these up one. Right, so I will get to the proper altitude 200 or 2 million. 868 kilometers in a circular orbit is carbosynchronous orbit. And then, and only then, can I start deploying the satellites and hopefully improving the frame rate. So I will be back momentarily. And we are back, more or less, in carbosequinous orbit even using mechanical jab to keep us on target it's about as close as I can get still pretty close but now time to start launching some satellites and the ejection force from them are going to knock them further off course than we already are so it's not a big deal let's spin up They pop off. Hmm. Not quite sure what went that time. Um, I'm afraid to eject. There they go. Excellent. Now then, we have the Infernal Robotics thing. Nice little motor noise as we extend our satellites. Okay. Now then, let's see. Can I find something to click on? Okay. Right, we need to make sure that whoever we're going to launch has a, their panels extended. Or at least a panel extended. Oh, they have batteries, so it shouldn't matter. I don't want to have the panels extended in case the launch force breaks them. So that would not be a good thing. going to retract the panel then let's see are you mechanical jab I cannot tell what's going on here okay there we go control from here Ooh. Um, off 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 there we go I turned you off it's still trying to do stuff let's turn on the regular SAS there we go now then, we need to make sure that wherever one of these... Stop moving. There we go. Uh, we're going to have this pointed at Kerbin. And we also want to activate it if I can. Did I click it properly? There it goes. Make sure that that has the correct uplink. It does. Excellent. So we should be able to eject now. There we go. Our frame rate has boosted itself a little bit. 
I should have put all these solar panels into a group of some kind. But I didn't. So you're going to have to wait while I tediously do this. And apparently I've misaligned something here. When I redid that. So that's going to be an issue. But I guess it doesn't matter too much as long as it still works. We just won't have our full amount of power. Now then, we can take another one of these satellites that we can't really see because it's dark. Click on Active Vessel and activate it. <clears throat> and let's make sure the power is okay. We may have to worry about the waste heat. I'm not sure about that. That's something new with the mod that I have not played before. But it looks like we have plenty of electrical charge for what we're doing. That is the first satellite. We just have to do this three more times. Let's switch to the other vessel. Why? What are we looking at? There we go. Okay. I greatly over-engineered this because I had it set for the atmosphere stats, which this nuclear engine is very bad at. But now we have 8,000 Delta V left, which is pretty much enough to get to any of the other planets. So I'll probably be reusing this design for launching probes or something to other planets. Though I may need to fix the wobbliness if I'm going to be doing that. Now then what I have to do is basically launch uh, four or these at 90 degree intervals around Kerbin so that when say one's pointing at one it'll be able to pick up another one or something like that. I don't know what I'm doing. But say if we had another one over here this could hit it as well as Kerbin and it could have a link up. I think that's the idea. I believe that's the idea. I'm not exactly sure what the idea is, but we'll figure it out. So I have to shrink my circle and then grow it again and then shrink it again and then grow it again and then shrink it again and grow it again. So this is going to take a while and I will be back when I am close to finish or something horrible happens. Whichever happens first. We are back and the satellites are placed, at least the first batch of them. We, or I, since you weren't here, managed to get these pretty much perfectly aligned. So, perfect triangle thingy, like they're supposed to be. So I just used the fourth one to put around the moon. In um, not geosynchronous, but half of geosynchronous orbit, because you can't get geosynchronous of the moon, because it's not a geo, but a moon, and that would be outside the sphere of influence. And we still had like, I don't know how much, a lot, uh, like 8,000 something Delta V left. But I am done with this stage. So bye, Jebediah is coming home. We still have to put the rest of the satellites around the moon and the communication satellites around Minimus. Minimus? Wow, we are coming in pretty fast, aren't we? I'm not even sure if we're going to bounce or not, or get pulled down. Could be interesting. If we slam into the earth, that's for something that went so well elsewhere. I really don't 
don't seem to be slowing down that fast. I guess we don't have much drag. Let's flip over. Actually, I cannot flip over. I am completely at the mercy of the forces of the wind. We're actually accelerating up now. Yeah, the atmosphere is just not slowing us down that much. I guess we're just too light. Thought that getting this close surely would pull us down. It might still do so, just going to take a while. Dropping pretty fast. Well, that's interesting. So what we have to do is, I'm thinking another two here, and then three around Minmus. But one of those satellites is going to have to be special. Or maybe both of them will have to be special. Who knows? We don't need the long-range communication thing for the moon satellites, because we're not going to be long-range communicating with those. The ones that we already have set up should be enough. I did forget to put the heat exchangers on them to prevent them from overheating, but luckily they can power two antenna without having to worry about it. It's just when they're doing the long range stuff, it might become a problem. Are we done yet? Okay, it looks like we're going to stay in the atmosphere, so I can just accelerate this. And I will be back once I am ready to continue. Okay, we made it back okay. And I've got Comset. Added a little heat radiator. Which is apparently enough to cool this. And we're going to replace this with one of these. Scanners for Cathane. That we can scan the moon with this. We won't use it on every satellite, just probably one of the four that we're going to launch. But the other three will be normal commsat, so this one will have the scanner that's going to be in a bit closer. Because the scanner uses more power and everything. So we can take. Here. Save it and get our ship that we launched. Actually, let's use the auto save ship in case I made some changes and did not save them. 337 parts is probably why it was lagging so bad.
hopefully the mass isn't too big. I think I said they were the same mass. These. And there we can launch this. Once I get that back. ready to go. I actually probably reduce the amount of stuff I have here. But I don't think it's going to matter too much. So again, I will be back when I am done doing both Minimus and the Moon, I think. Which will probably be tomorrow for me. So I will see you later. Let me check the time on this. Okay, we're way, way over time, so I will see you next episode. Like if you like, subscribe if you're not. Thanks for watching.